Hello and welcome to the craft for today, take four. You're not going to see the bloopers because one of them was me spilling glue everywhere and into a tub that contained some of my jewellery. But never mind. What we're doing today is a story envelope and that is going to help you tell the story that, about the paralysed man. So what you need is an envelope, just an ordinary everyday envelope, some tape, a pen, a couple of bits of wool, some brick kind of coloured paper. I've used an old envelope for this that came in, just so we're not uh, putting out things to the bin. Uh, a little bit of coloured card and a person on it. I'm going to put the template for the person up on the Cardboard Cafe page again for you to either uh, trace or print. I've traced it this time because my printers died. And also glue, which I'm not putting on the tray because it fell apart. So the first thing you need to do is with a biggish bit of the brick coloured card, or you could use another colour if you want, you can do a coloured door if you want. Well, that is going to be the door of the house. Okay, so let's pop that on there and to let everybody know it's a door, pop on a door handle. Now the next thing that you need to do are, can you see them there, the windows. So you can do your windows any shape. I'm just going to stick with traditional But your next thing is to build up a bit of that so it actually looks like a house. So that's glue and bits of the paper. So just cover it as much or as little as you want, but make sure that you don't obscure the door and the windows. And on the back, Do another couple of bits of brick. Now, on the top, along the top there, you're going to write, the house was full, what could they do? So that's a question that you're going to ask when you're telling the story. Let's write it on quickly. So, now, the next thing you're going to need to do is... Glue your man onto a bit of coloured card. Then on the back of the coloured card, take bits of string, bits of tape. Now your next job would be to open up the envelope. Okay. Now make sure the man is facing up. You don't want him to be facing in. So then tape the bit of the string to the top of the envelope and the bit of the string to the top of the envelope and then pop the man inside. Then fold it down. So when you're telling the story of how Jesus filled the house and then the friends had to think up how the way to get him in and then you turn over and you say the house was full what could they do you open it up and then you pull the man up and you pop him down as you tell the story so that is your story envelope and it's a way of helping you remember the story as you tell it to other people so i'm going to tidy up this gluey mess and I'll come back in a second or two and we'll do our prayers. Bye.